It's really cold. It's really cold. <laughs> so we have been in this camper full time now for four years. Same camper. We've been in our Grand Design Imagine 2600 RV full time four years. We're gonna show you guys some of the mods and the upgrades that we've done along the way. Stuff that's made our lives a little bit easier, a little more comfortable, I guess. Now I will say that we have bought this stuff as we have went along. We didn't buy a lot of stuff when we first bought the camper and I would highly recommend to do it that way. You don't need all this stuff to hit the road. If you're wanting to get out there, just get out there. It's taken us this long to realize what we want and what we don't want. We just wanna share that with you guys. If you guys wanna see a video on your essentials, let us know down below. Maybe we should do a video on that. Mm -hmm. So this is our non-essentials. Non-essentials. This is stuff that you don't need to buy, but stuff that we have enjoyed purchasing and modifying as we went along. All right, so we're gonna start with the entryway here. And right off the bat, this is something that we modified. When we bought the camper, it came with a shoe compartment, but it only came up to about here. And we saw some people in the 2600 group on Facebook who had actually cut this out. So that's exactly what we did. Behind here, it was all hollow. So we removed the laminate here and I put a shelf in here. So we have storage for two layers of shoes. Right off to the left of the entryway here, we have this key holder. It's a 3M strip. If you guys are new to RVing, just go ahead and buy the big pack of 3M strips. I will say that. We have 3M strips all throughout the camper. We hang stuff on. They're fantastic because you don't have to drill into the wall. This one holds our keys. And then right above it, we have a whiteboard. This is a honeydew list grocery list or something that I always do when we move to a new spot is I write the address down. That helps me if I need any packages delivered or if we have an emergency or anything like that. I know the address including the site number and I'll just put it here. Moving right into the bathroom. We haven't done a ton in the shower but there are a couple things we've done. First, we upgraded our shower head. So we have an oxygenic shower head. It took us a couple years to upgrade that. The other one worked fine, this one works better. We've also added a couple shelves and you guessed it, they're 3M strip shelves. Those are great. They've been up probably three years at this point, no issues. This is kind of a new uh, renovation for us. Uh, we decided to put up these sticky tiles I'm not gonna lie, they weren't the most fun to put up, but I think it really adds something to the bathroom. It, they literally just stick to the wall. We've been in some high humidity spots and they still haven't come off, so hopefully they're on there for good. We've also just bought some random little fixtures here to make it look a little spruced up. Mike bought this towel rod, and I know it seems silly because we have one with the camper built in here, but we actually wanted to put our full-size towels here, so we put our hand towels here. There's one more modification that we're wanting to do in the bathroom and I need y'all's help. Mike's gonna laugh at me. He bought several different things to fix up the bathroom and one of them was a toilet paper holder. We have had this toilet paper holder for probably a month now. Why is it not up? Because we can't decide where to put it. We've had one of the tower toilet paper holders since we got the camper. It works fine, but we don't love it. So this is how it looks. It's sticky. You guys tell us in the comments where it needs to go because we can't decide. Another thing in here is our dehumidifier. So this is the first dehumidifier we bought for the camper, maybe a few months into living in it. It's definitely small, but it took us a couple years to actually buy a bigger one. So this one worked okay, but we found some mold on the walls, so we upgraded to even a bigger dehumidifier. We still keep this one running just to kind of keep the camper as dry as we can. 3M strips everywhere. 3M strips on the outside of the bathroom door. I think these are five pound ones so they can hold a little bit more weight. So I have some bags and jackets on here. And then right next to it is a mirror. And what is holding that mirror up, might you ask? 3M strips. Right behind here I have 3M strips on all four of these corners. When we first started traveling in this rig, I took it down whenever we moved because it's on Velcro. I haven't done it for like three years and it hasn't fallen off yet, so I guess it's good. And right here on the floor in the corner is our new heater slash fan. I saw in the 2600 Facebook group that a bunch of people were buying this. This is a Vornado 
heater slash fan. So it has two different settings for heat and then it has a setting for a fan as well. We had a big tower heater slash fan combo and uh, it actually took up way too much space. And this is really great because I can just throw this under the bed if we are ever moving or I just want it off the floor. Behind the bathroom door is a map. We use that map a lot of times when we're planning out our trips to give us an overview of the roads. We also keep track of some of the places that we've been on there. And uh, if we ever planning out a trip, we can kind of brainstorm what route we want to take. This is my workstation. You might notice that it looks a lot different than in a lot of other campers. There was a dinette here before. It had your standard U-shaped dinette. Two years ago, we took the whole dinette out and we custom built this desk so that I have a workstation. It has drawers on either side for organization. I've got a nice comfy office chair. And on the side here, this actually detaches and we can move it to the middle of the table and it actually flips up and then we have a little table that we can use. Right here at the end of the desk is our big dehumidifier. We have a small one in the bathroom. We used that before to kind of use throughout the camper and we moved it around a little bit. But when we took out the dinette, we noticed that there was some mold behind it. And doing some research, we realized that it was probably too humid in here. So we decided to buy a big dehumidifier. Moving into the kitchen, you guess it, more 3M strips. We put a couple hooks up here just to hold some washcloths and towels. My sister bought me this cool drying rack that fits perfectly on our little flip out on our 2600 RV. Mike upgraded our soap dispensers in here, make it look just a little sharper, but you can see the big dogs on the counter here. So first, his coffee maker. We did not start off with this coffee maker. We had like a normal one. And then about a year ago, he decided I'm getting rid of the coffee maker. We went down to an AeroPress, worked great. And then this guy caught his eye. So he has a fancy Ninja coffee maker that he loves. Yes, it takes up a lot of counter space. No, we not, did not buy it straight off the bat, but he's in love with it. It'll stay with the camper for a while, I think. big guy on the counter is a very new addition to the camper. We just got this as a gift from Mike's mom in the last month. It is an ice maker. It's pretty great. I'm not gonna lie. Yes, it takes up room on the counter, but it's a trade-off to have ice cold drinks all the time. Moving over to the stove area, one thing we did pretty much in the first week that we started living in the camper, we bought a tiny little temperature gauge. It's gunky looking because we've used it for four years tiny little temperature gauge because the actual temperature gauge on the stove doesn't work very well. So that kind of helps us gauge a little bit better. Tiny little investment we did right off the back, a couple bucks, it's worked great for four years. This one's a new one. So we just put in a spice rack, uh, maybe, I don't know, six months ago because the spices used to live up there. And as you can tell, I can't reach up there. <laughs> so we moved them down here. The first couple trips we used to put them underneath the stove so they wouldn't break. We've done several trips now without moving them and they work great and haven't broken. Now, why are they staying in place you ask? 3M strips. One of Mike's uh, tiny little mods that he loves. Uh, you may see our little bottle opener down here. Um, did that maybe a couple years into it and honestly it was surprisingly difficult to find one that fit in that tiny little 2 inch space. So. I'll have Mike drop the link below if you guys want to put a bottle opener in your camper too. So about year one probably, we put in this real simple rolling sliding drawer and it's great. We had to kind of build it up um, to actually get it where it wouldn't hit this on the way out, hit the lip. But again, that's probably three years old and it's fantastic. One thing that we purchased that I can highly recommend is a rescue dog. Callie, say hi. Aww. Hi. <laughs> Excuse me, I need more pets, please. But the first thing that we actually upgraded was this mattress. It came with your standard RV queen, and it was 
paper thin. We slept on it for about a week before we bought this. This is just a Serta mattress that we bought from Sam's Club, but it has been a huge upgrade over the RV mattress. Right above the bed is two lights that I have switched out and upgraded to. These are swiveling lights and they have two different settings. They go from blue for reading to your regular white LED. Another thing that we did here in the corner is we put a TV in here. When we bought the unit, there was a sticker here on the corner that said it was prepped for a TV wall mount. And after doing some research, I found out that they actually put a metal plate behind the wall. And that way you can put your TV mount on that metal plate. And I ended up doing that. We got a TV here in the corner and we almost never use it. Right underneath the TV, I have my baby, my Dyson. The Dyson has been a huge upgrade for us. It's perfect for this space because it's cordless. I don't have to fumble around with a cord. And also I can use it on both the laminate and the carpet. Right next to the bed, we have the closet space. And in here, we have actually put Plano shelves in here. It's one of the first things that we did. We bought plastic shelves for it. And that way we can organize our t-shirts and all of our socks, and all that good stuff. So right here on the back of the bedroom door, we have da -da -da, 3M strips. These are the heavy duty ones so that we can hang heavier items on it. They've been fantastic. I don't have to take anything off during travel days. I will also mention that we bought these insulating pillows, as we call them, for the vents. And this has been fantastic in the warmer months or the cooler months to keep that heat in or out, depending on the weather. We have a clear source three stage water filtration system. If you guys haven't seen that video, I'll put it up here. We actually installed it with PEX tubing and went all out to make sure that it's in line with our existing water system. And it's been fantastic. This is really great because it's a whole RV system. Anywhere we go, we just hook into water and we don't have to worry about our water not being safe. If the A-frame of the camper looks a little bit naked, it's because we upgraded to lithium batteries. We have two 100 amp hour Renogy lithium batteries and we actually installed them in the pass-through. We did this in January. We've been really happy with them so far. We haven't boondocked a lot yet, but I've been really happy with just having them out of the way off the A-frame and it's really nice and organized in the pass-through. We full-time RV. We've been full-time RVing for four years. And anytime that we buy something that's a major decision, we always look at it as an investment. These batteries cost about $1,100 or so. So we figure we need to get that money back. So the more that we stay at a place for cheap or for free, we always look at that as it paying back. And so far, it's been a very solid investment for us. We have traveled with our bikes the entire time we've been full-time traveling. But about two years ago, we finally decided to put a hitch on the back of our camper. It was a big upgrade for us, and there's a lot of controversy out there. Two years ago, we've been traveling coast to coast since then. It's worked fantastic. This is what's worked for us. You gotta do what's best for you. But we love having a bike rack on the back of our camper. Now I will say, while we're traveling, we check it all the time. Even just sitting here at a campground, we check it, make sure the bikes are tight, make sure that the hitch is still good, make sure that it doesn't hit my elbow, because it just did, make sure that everything looks good. Mike loves his Dyson. Why am I talking about the Dyson outside? Good question. I thought it was completely unnecessary for the camper, and I kind of fought him on it for a couple years. Now that we have it, I love it. Jack cover was kind of the same thing. Why do you need a cover for your jack? It seemed kind of silly to me, but a couple years ago we bought one and it's honestly great. It helps us keep track of stuff as we're unhitching or hitching up the camper because we hook up all of our chains and like the connection to the camper, everything goes right here. Not only that, but it locks in place and kind of makes you feel a little more secure. Now we did upgrade this a couple years ago and that one got kind of crusty, finally kind of fell apart and we just bought this one maybe a month ago. So it still looks pretty sharp, 
Lasted us a couple years, great investment I think. A big mod we got right off the bat, literally when we signed for the camper, we bought this one because Mike got it thrown in with the camper. We have an equalizer E4 hitch. Now I am not real savvy on the specifics of it, but I do know our sales guy said, you don't need that big of a stabilizer. The camper's not that big, you're not gonna need it. Mike said, we want that one. It's the most coverage, it's gonna be the best thing for us. It's been the best thing for us. We've had it for four years, obviously a little rusty, but it works fantastic and gives us just that peace of mind going down the road. All right, so two more things on the outside here on the door. We upgraded and got this thin shade glass. And what's really nice about this is that it, on the inside of the camper, there's actually a shade. So we can draw that shade down if it gets too bright outside or we do that at night. And it's also tinted on the outside, which not only matches the rest of the camper, but it helps keep that sun out. Right underneath of it is an RV lock. This thing is fantastic. You can set it up to use your own personal keypad. And what's really nice about it is that it comes with a key fob. So you can lock it and unlock it. That's nice too, you don't have to take that key fob with you. You can just punch in your personalized code and that way you can leave your keys at home if you're going to walk around the campground or something like that. All right, so that's kind of all the mods and upgrades that we've done over the last four years. And it's taken us several years to do some of them. So again, I'll reiterate, you don't need to buy any super fancy thing or change anything major to just get in your camper and hit the road. Buy as you go. The more you camp, the more you'll realize what you need and don't need. Mm -hmm. And I don't want anybody to go out there and spend all this money and then realize I don't need all this stuff. There were a few things that we bought right off the bat that we're like, why did we do that? And we've purged uh, pretty much twice a year since we started full timing. And there's stuff we get rid of all the time. So if you stuck around to the very end, we have a special announcement. I thought it'd be fun if you guys can guess how many 3M strips we use in our camper. We showed most of them. We may not have talked about all of them, but if you can guess how many individual 3M strips we have stuck to the wall, holding something up, hooking something up, just attaching anything, guess it down below in the comments. At the end of June, we will announce the winner and send you guys some life rerouted stuff. Make sure you comment on this video with how many you think that we are currently using in the camper. Yes, we'll give this uh, stuff away at the end of June. We'll be announcing the winner. So make sure you guys are entered right down below. June 30th, send in some swag your way. Also, thanks for sticking around to the end. Thanks as always for watching. We love full-time RVing and we just wanna share that with you guys. Make sure you're subscribed down below if you haven't already. And we'll see you guys next time.